Now, 67 gay suspects arrested by the police in Delta State are likely to face up to 14 years in detention. The suspects were paraded at the Airpan police station where police public relations officer Bright Edafi disclosed that the suspects will be charged to court after investigation. TVC News correspondent Ikenna Amechi has more. It looks like a typical wedding ceremony between a man and a woman, but it is not. It is a wedding of gay couple taking place in odd hours. On parade here are the suspects. Police narrated how they were apprehended. One troops, Chinye, dressed, he happens to be a male, but he was dressed like a lady. They brought him to the station and continued interrogating him. Before he now gave us a confessional statement that he belongs to the gay society and they are having a ceremony. The policemen stormed the hotel where about 200 suspects were initially arrested. Majority of them all dressed like females. We saw two suspects dressed, one as the bride and one as a group. For the police, these set of men will have their day in court after thorough investigation. And there is nobody resident in this country that has the right to go against the law of this country. It is a very clear case, though they are still presumed innocent until proven otherwise in the court of law. Some of the suspects deny committing any crime. They said I've committed an offense while dressed like this. It's like getting married there, there was nothing like a wedding day. That is just an allegation goes towards us. So why are you here? I came here as a mother because I'm advertising this way. I'm a fashion designer also. The same-sex marriage prohibition bill signed into law on January 7, 2014 by former President Goodluck Jonathan imposes a 14-year prison sentence to anyone who enters a same-sex marriage contract or civil union and a 10-year sentence on individuals or groups including religious leaders who witness, abate or aid the solemnization of a same-sex marriage. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News. Efron, Delta State.